Let's go. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Nimbus. And today we are at Play New York uh, here in 34th Street in the Manhattan Center. Uh, we're, there's a whole bunch of games here, as you guys can see. There's about like four floors of just games. Let's try to get into this. Alright guys, we're here at uh, N uh, Play NYC, and I'm here with this game called Origins of Storm, which is a fighting game, and it's actually a really good fighting game. It reminds me of two games. It reminds me of Marvel vs. Capcom on a one-on-one -on -one with uh, Bloody Roar, because you're able to transform while playing. Uh, I'm here with one of the developers. Uh, so, explain what what's, what's up with the game. Uh, you're pretty much on point. Uh, I took it. You know, I wanted to play like Marvel vs. Capcom, and I miss Bloody Roar, you know, we haven't had a game in such a long time. So I'm like, you know, I got these characters, they're elemental, so I'm like, why not give them like an elemental transform? And that's what they do. So the moves are like, like a traditional Capcom, you know, quarter circle, light, heavy, medium. There is a launch button, so it really does play like Marvel, because uh, it has a launch button. Um, there's a light, medium, and heavy attack, plus a launch button. There's a transform button. Uh, a lot of the moves are like the way you would do a Shoryuken or a Nadouken. Uh, when do you guys think this game will be done? I'm hoping within the next year or probably the year after that. And you guys are thinking about putting it on certain which consoles? We're targeting Steam, uh, PS4, and the Switch. Awesome. I would love this for the Switch. 100% would love this for the Switch. A lot, a lot of Switch. people are saying that. Um, are you guys thinking of doing physical or digital? Uh, I would love to have a, a physical, you know, physical release. It would be cool. Okay, yeah, so will I, because I enjoy physical more than digital. But if it comes out digital, you have my buy. I will be getting this game, okay? Hopefully it comes out sooner than later. And we'll see you guys next time. guys and once again we, we you guys know we're here in uh, uh, play NYC and by far this has to be the coolest thing I've seen today okay 
It's a monitor that displays in 3D. I'm not sure if it's like a hologram. I'm not sure how it works, but I tell you this, apparently you could use it for multiple things. Uh, I have one of the people that works for the company. What can you tell me about this monitor? Sure, so we're Looking Glass Factory. Uh, this display that you just played on, uh, it's called the Looking Glass. Um, it's something we've been working on for about four years through multiple iterations. It's a combination light field and volumetric display, but to most people it's a holographic display. So that's what we, it, it sort of is our way of achieving the cinema dream of the hologram, like the Star Wars, Princess Leia, Big Hero 6, Iron Man type hologram. This is what we're trying to do. Um, so it does give you 42, uh, 45 uh, stereoscopic views as you move around the scene, which is how you get that 3D effect. And this, I'm pretty sure the application is with a whole bunch of other things besides video games and sure. whatnot. Uh, what other applications have you used it for? Sure, um, so we see this uh, first generation being for any type of 3D creator, be it an animator at Pixar who's trying to create the next you know, next Pixar short, or an architect who's really trying to figure out how their uh, model is going to look, um, or their, you know, const uh, building construction is going to look, or a doctor who's trying to figure out um, how your, how to dissect your heart in uh, in an operation. Um, you can actually put a scan of an MRI scan of something like that in here and slice through it. Okay. Uh, one question. Is that the only size? Because I could imagine this as a bigger size. It would look yeah. really great. Well, everyone wants bigger, um, but we do. We are selling a size that is about three times the volume of this. Okay. Um, it's a 15.6 inch diagonal screen area. Okay. Um, so you can imagine it's about yeah, like a so MacBook it's Pro a size. Good size. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, going even uh, bigger than that is not technically, you know not feasible, it's like totally possible. It's just, we're a small company, we're trying to get these into the world out first, but we are already exploring how to make bigger ones. So these are already on the market? Yes, uh, we are, I think about 18 days into our Kickstarter, we've sold about a thousand of them. Um, and we really, you know, we hope that this is going to start building up a really great, awesome, like hologram community in the world. I definitely agree because with just with this game alone, I, I'm, my brain is running with other games that could be probably well, be used this for this. Game especially, it's really special because it's called Voxatron, and the creator Joseph White made this 14 years ago, huh. hoping that one day a display would exist to house it. Wow! And just three days ago, he sent us the build, and we can show it at Play NYC. This is the first time we've shown it. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Uh, so, how much are they going for? Uh, they're going to start at three ninety. Um, and so for that price, it's like the sloth special, it's like the slow special where you don't get it until next February, but we're shipping it out as early as September of this year for a higher price at $9.99. Okay, great. So if you guys are interested in a display like that, where can they find you guys to make orders and whatnot? Um, so look.glass slash play NYC. Very easy. Well, there you go. I'm definitely going to look into this because this monitor looks really amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay guys, so we're here with another fighting game because as you guys know, I love fighting games. Uh, and I'm here with one of the, the producers that work for the game. Am I right in saying that? Uh, well, I, I am the producer, but I'm also the art director. Okay, so. great. What is the name of the fighting game? Punch Planet is the name of the fighting game. So this not the fighting game. Punch Planet is a indie sci-fi fighting game, and it is 
a somewhat satirical cartoon version of every 80s, 90s sci-fi movie trope kind of mashed into one. And it's uh, more of a traditional fighting game. Yeah, the, the gameplay is more conservative, neutral based, and then the combos, uh, we have a pretty elaborate combo system with like a double tap cancel, OTG's wall bounces, supers into supers, so the neutral gameplay is a little, uh, you can't you can't block in the air, it's very commitment based, yeah. but then once you get that combo. One of the things that I do love that it does have a parry system, so if you guys love parries in your video, in your fighting games, yes, this game does have a parry system. Uh, when is this game coming out or how far along are you guys in development? So we came out in early access in November last year, no November uh, 2017. Um, but we only had four characters and uh, basic online with GGPO, which is a really good rollback netcode. Uh, now, we've, since then, we've added two characters, so we got six characters, and every couple months or three or four months, I implement a new character, and we work on the online infrastructure and just improve the game overall. Okay, you just got me excited because you just mentioned GGPO, and I freaking love GGPO. I think every fighting game should use GGPO, so you just got me, you, you, got, you had me out of seven, now you have me out of a nine, okay, with the GGPO. Uh, what consoles uh, or platforms is it coming out of? Uh, when we, we, we can't be on console until the game's like completed, um, I'm not sure what will be the main console people are into when that happens, we're kind of a few years out until we're like totally wrapped up, but if I could put it out tomorrow it would be, you know, at, like Switch, PS4, Xbox, everything, you know, no reason not to put it on the console. I would love to see this on the Switch. Yeah, I, I would love to see this on the Switch. I think Switch. it would be just holding it, you know, on the handheld, um, playing it on the go and stuff. Fighting games on Switch are, yeah. like, I mean, portable fighting games. Yeah. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Where could uh, people find the game, find you guys online? Plug yourself. So, the game, we sell the game on Steam Early Access, but if you follow the Twitter at Punch Planet, I post updates daily on my progress, animation updates, character updates, and then we do everything community based through the Discord. And I highly recommend, even if you aren't sure if you're getting the game yet, just hop in the Discord and you can ask people what they think about the game. How, you know, if it's easy to get matches online, stuff like that. All right, cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys. This is the end of the video. We played a whole bunch of games as here. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. Comment down below and please, 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 please do not forget to subscribe. I do recommend that you guys come here. They do this every year. I think this is the second year that they've been here. So if you're interested, you want to play a lot of indie games that are not out, that will be out, and certain games that are out, and they're here to play as well, look it up. It's called PlayNYC.com. Look it up and get a ticket. It's not that expensive to come here, and they do it every year. Why not? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Gaming with Dimbles. Deuces.